Hey Pucci friend, just wanted to let you guys know before the video starts that this is a re-upload. I tried uploading this video earlier, but unfortunately YouTube isn't letting any of your comments go through. Just mine. For some reason, you can only see my comments but not yours. So I decided to take some triggering words out of this video and hopefully that fixes things. So let's continue on with the video. Well, hello, my beautiful and gorgeous bougie friend. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. So today I have a really cool and fun, interesting video for you guys. I got a surprise package from Lisette Cruz. You guys should definitely go follow her. I will be putting her channel here up on the screen and I also will be tagging her down below. She sent over this big box full of goodies and I can't wait to see what's inside. So let's open it up. and oh my god you guys so lisette told me that she only wanted to send me over some gel nail colors but it seems like she sent me a little bit more extra like always she's always spoiling me and i can't freaking believe it look at this she sent over this like uv lamp it's an extension no light but as you can see it's cordless and it's really cool it's like a little flash cure lamp so you just click the bottom the button here on the bottom and then you just set your nails with it that is so freaking cool and i also like how her logo is here at the bottom it looks so fancy all of her products always look so expensive i love it okay so the next item that caught my attention or the next items i have to say are the gel colors so i'm going to be taking them out and i'm going to be reviewing each little individual box of gel colors one by one just so you guys can get to know the collections a little bit more and so that we could see the colors with more like detail if that makes any sense but okay the first collection that i ended up pulling out is her neon lights collection and one thing that i really do love about her packaging is that she has the names of the colors right here in the front so at first glance i just assumed that these were just regular gel like nail art paints but i went on her website and i read that these are creamy self-leveling hard gels that are non-soak off and are file off only and that there are many ways to use these little gel paint pots so the different ways to use them this is what it says on the website is that the product can be used on top of any kind of product for a full coverage color it can also be encapsulated inside of nails with clear hard gel it can also be used as a simple gel overlay on natural short nails and it can also be used as gel paint for nail art so these little paint pots have a lot of uses and that was the neon lights collection and the next collection is called the pastel dreams collection and it seems like this collection is going to be my favorite because i love pastel colors and look it looks like Easter and I freaking love it. Aren't they so cute? It seems like these colors are very pigmented and when you pick them up and you like swish them around in the little pot, they don't seem to be really thick. They seem to be like the consistency of like a regular gel nail polish. They don't seem to be the consistency of a hard gel. So that is why I was really confused when I first opened them at first. I was like, are these gels? Are these hard gels? I don't know. But the website said that these are hard gels and these are file off only okay so the next collection so this collection is really sparkly and it is called the shimmer on collection and oh my god i lied about the pastel collection being my favorite because look at these look at these friend Woo! that green is everything yes And last but not least, Lisette sent over her primary color collection. And these are really cool because she sent over like all of the most necessary colors. She sent over a white, a black, a blue, a yellow, a green, and a red, which are all primary colors. And pretty much you could use these colors. You could mix them up and you can make any color that you want in the world. So I think these are really cool. Like if you mix the white and the red, you could make a pink. And if you mix the blue and the red, you could make a purple. You can make so many colors with the primary colors but yeah those are all of the gel colors that lisa sent over i'm super thankful for each and every single collection that she sent me i can't wait to use them and i'm even more excited because halloween is literally right around the corner and i can't wait to create spooky sets so please let me know in the comment section down below any halloween inspo that you would like me to create for the month of october what do you want would you guys like to see some beetlejuice nails do you want to see some nightmare 
before Christmas nails. Since I have been really into nail art lately, I am really up for challenging myself. So let me know in the comment section down below. I try, friend. I give up sometimes, but I still be trying. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, let me know in the comment section down below and give me some spooky nail set inspos because I have something really exciting planned for Halloween for you guys. Or should I say Valloween? Mwahaha. Okay, friend. So uh, let's continue on with the box. <laughs> Okay, so the next item that Miss Lisette sent over are these caviar beads. And these are so freaking cool. So she sent over four different kinds of caviar beads. And she sent me two different sizes. She sent over one millimeter caviar beads and 0 0.8 millimeter caviar beads. Now, these are the 0 0.8 millimeter caviar beads. And these are really, really tiny. If you want something a little bit bigger, I definitely recommend the one millimeter. And if you guys happen to be a dumb dumb like me and you end up spilling your caviar beads all over your desk or on the floor or on the carpet, I recommend that you guys grab a magnet. <laughs> the magnet cleans them up hella quick. Okay, so now let's move on to the next items. Now, the next items that I decided to grab out of the box are these little packages and they look like little envelopes full of charms and these are called cuticle bars i don't know if you guys have ever heard of cuticle bars but these are little tiny bars that you place around the cuticle area and she also sent over these really cool chains she sent over different colored chains which i'm honestly really excited about because i don't know if you guys have seen my birthday set but lately i've been experimenting with like chains and like all these other things with my nail set so i'm really really thankful that lisette sent over these really cool looking chains Give me some ideas down in the comment section down below on how you would like me to use these on future sets because I really do want to experiment with them. However, I can't really think of anything right now. So let me know in the comment section down below. Okay, my loves, and last but not least, these are the last items in the box, and they are two clear cases, and these are for storing charms. So these are really cool because inside of the charm box are these clear individual boxes that you could open and shut so that you could place your charms. That way, they're not flying around all over the place. I'm going to store all of these like cuticle bars and all of my chains in these little um, charm boxes really quick. So this is what everything looks like stored in the little organizer box. Everything looks super neat and cute. And that was pretty much everything that Lisette sent over. And I'm super thankful for everything. Thank you so much, Lisette. I loved everything. I love the charms. I love the gel paints. I love the little, little lamp. I'm stuttering. And the little caviar beads. I'm so freaking excited. I can't wait to use everything, especially the little gel paints. Okay, so let's get started. Today, we are going to be working on press-ons, and I'm going to be using these press-ons by Inel Couture. These are the 10XL press-ons, but I actually ended up cutting them at the top a little bit. See, this is what they originally look like. These are really freaking long, but I ended up clipping the tops just so that they look like tapered 3XL nails, and they look super cute when you cut them. It's a really nice, cute shape. I have a 10% off code with Inel Couture, and I will have it here on the screen, and I will also be having a link down in the description box below if you guys would like to check these tips out. Out. also please excuse my gloves they're dirty but they're not dirty it's just that i spray painted the little jar where i keep all of my gloves and unfortunately there was paint on the bottom and i got a lot of my gloves dirty by accident but i'm still going to use them because i don't want to throw them away but yeah so just excuse my spray painted gloves so here are my press on nails i have prepped them off camera i don't do anything fancy to my press on nails when i prep them i only buff them and then i clean them with isopropyl alcohol however you know couture tips don't really work well with isopropyl alcohol so i just suggest that you just buff the surface of the nails with the buffing block and then dust them off with like a little fan brush or whatever you'll be fine friend don't worry it'll work perfectly fine so I'm going to start off with the color Daydream and it is this really beautiful baby pink. I'm going to be applying the gel paint color with this LGN Pro brush and it is in the gel brush number 4. The LGN Pro website states that you could use these gel paints in many different ways and I'm going to use it like a regular gel nail polish. If you guys are curious of the consistency of this gel paint, it honestly feels like a regular gel nail polish as well. I was kind of expecting it to feel thicker, kind of like a hard gel but mixed with gel polish but it honestly feels and is the same consistency of any regular gel nail polish that I've ever used. 
as you guys can also see the application goes on really smoothly and since these do go on like a regular gel nail polish i'm going to seal them with a clear gel top coat instead of a hard gel like the website originally says because look friend it looks like a regular gel polish you could definitely seal this with clear top coat <laughs> let's experiment okay <laughs> Once I was done painting, this is what my nail looks like. As you could see, the gel paints are really opaque. So this is just one coat, friend. And I'm going to set it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. When I take it out, I'm going to leave them as is. And I'm not going to add any top coat to them or anything like that. I'm going to leave them sticky as is. Because I want to add a little bit of glitter to them later on. And now I'm going to paint this nail a jelly color. And this is the color Radiance. This jelly formula is also the same consistency of a gel nail polish. And this is what the whole entire set looks like once I've taken it out of the UV lamp. And as you guys can see, I have added a clear matte top coat to the middle nail so that I could see what the pink color looks like. And the other pink nails, I didn't add any top coat to them because I want to do a little bit of an experiment with them. I also left the pinky nail clear because why not? <laughs> Okay, so for the nails that I didn't add top coat to, they are really sticky. So now I'm going to apply some glitter. And I'm going to grab whatever fine glitter of my choice. I'm going to grab a pink one because it's the closest color to the color of my gel nail polish. And I'm going to rub it into the gel nail polish like so. And this is what the glitter should look like once you are done rubbing it all in. I'm going to set it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds once I'm done applying my glitter. When it's out, I am going to add a nice juicy layer of clear gel nail polish on top to seal in the fine glitter. I've been doing this technique a lot on my channel. I just recently found out that this technique is called burnishing. So if you guys are curious as to what it's called, that's what it's called. I just barely found that last week. Shout out to the person that told me. <laughs> but yeah this is what my set is looking like so far i freaking love it and i love how the glitter looks on my nails now i'm going to seal it with a nice juicy layer of top coat so i have added shiny top coat to all of my nails except for the middle nail and i have set them in the uv lamp for 60 seconds now I'm ready to do some nail art. So today I'm going to try to draw Sailor Moon. I asked you guys on Instagram what you guys would like me to do. And for some reason, Sailor Moon was really popular. Here I am attempting to draw face. I have mixed the color Beauty Sleep with a little bit of white to make like this like light pale skin color for the base of her face and um friend i had to stop the recording because um look i have to show you <laughs> that is not so off camera i tried to paint and i'm so sorry you guys i just can't i can't do it i just can't look at her she looks a mess oh she looks so bad i had you guys cracking up on instagram when i showed you guys so i'm not gonna lie to you guys i have tried to paint her like three times already so i i'm gonna give up and i'm going to grab this yellow color i believe this color is called key component and i'm also going to grab this really thin brush by Eno couture i'm going to be linking everything i use in the description box down below don't worry friend and if i forget something please let me know i will be more than happy to link it for you So I'm first going to start painting the little moon on top of the moon stick. And in order to draw a little moon, I first start off by painting the letter C on my nail. Once I'm happy with the shape of the letter C, I'm going to thicken it up. Then I'm going to fill it in with my gel nail polish or my gel paint. I'm also going to round out these little corners right here. I'm now going to try out my little LGN Pro wireless lamp and let's see how it works. So here it is, I'm turning it on. And look, friend, 
this little lamp is definitely going to come in handy for when I'm super busy and I need to be hands free. So you definitely need to get this lamp too. Now I'm going to go in with the color Electric Kiss. It's this really bright pink. And I'm going to draw the handle of my little Now I'm not going to do any like fancy little details on the because I want this to be as simple and as beginner friendly as possible. So I'm just going to draw a little straight line like this. And with the dotting tool, I'm going to add a little circle on the bottom like this. Boop. And this is what my is looking like so far. I set it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds to set the design. Now I'm going to grab a black liner gel paint. And this is by Kawaii Nose Collection. And with the same Eno Couture brush, I'm going to outline my... So I'm going to hold my breath and I'm going to clench my cheeks and I'm going to try to keep a steady hand as possible, friend. <laughs> Once I'm done with my outline, I'm going to set it in my big UV lamp for 60 seconds for a final cure. When it's out of the UV lamp, I'm going to grab this white color. This is called Always Required. And I'm going to draw little stars. So I like to draw stars with the dotting tool. By the way, excuse my crusty dotting tool. I have to clean it. It has a whole bunch of set gel nail polish on it. And I like to do my little stars by dotting on a glob of the gel polish. And with a liner brush, I like to drag the little dot. Like so. Drag the little dot. And that is how I make my little stars. I ended up covering my whole entire little now with sparkles and little stars and stuff. As you guys could see, I covered the whole entire nail. And I also added little dots to add more sparkle to it. I set it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. And when I take it out, I'm going to seal everything with this magical top coat by Kawaii Nails Collection. And once it's out of the UV lamp, I'm going to add some finishing details. So here with a small thin brush, I'm going to add clear gel nail polish over the little yellow moon. And while it's still wet, I'm going to grab this fine glitter. I also added a little bit of gel nail polish to the little yellow ball on the bottom of the moon staff too. But I'm going to grab this yellow glitter and pour it on top of the wet gel nail polish. Then I'm going to set the nail in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. When it's out, I'm going to dust off the excess and this is what it looks like. The camera honestly isn't doing this glitter any justice. It's so freaking pretty in person. And now since the thick has a little diamond in the center, I'm also going to add a little AB gem in the center like so. to set it in the uv lamp for 60 seconds and voila friend it's adorable a really easy simple and now what else can we do i'm going to work on this nail by the way this nail used to be pink but i have decided to keep them clear instead <laughs> so on the clear nails i'm thinking i'm going to draw luna the kitty i will begin painting her by painting a little arch on the tip of my nail like so Fill it in. And now I am going to grab a thin liner brush and I am going to draw the ears of the kitty. So I'm going to draw one long line like this and another line connecting the ears. Here is what our little kitty is looking like. I know that the inside of the ears are blank, but it's okay, friend. I want to add something special to the inside of the ears later on. 
now with this white gel paint i am going to draw on little clouds so i'm going to grab this flat brush it's dry it doesn't have any isopropyl alcohol on it or anything it's a dry brush and i'm going to pat on some clouds like so bloop 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 i know you can barely see them but that's okay friend it's okay So here are what my clouds are looking like so far. So they were really see-through at first. So I went over them twice. And this is the outcome that I got. And I really, really love them. They look really real. So cute. And now I'm going to go over the whole entire design with my top coat. Once our little kitty is out of the UV lamp, I'm going to add some of my favorite McCart rhinestone glue to its forehead. And I will be adding a little 3D moon to it. Isn't that super cute? I make freaking love it. So adorable. Set it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. And here are my nails. So I did another cloud nail off camera. And unfortunately, I like those clouds a lot better than my kitty clouds. Oh, I wish I did the clouds exactly the same, but whatever. And off camera, I made these cute little wing charms. I got the little molds from Amazon and I made them using clear gel nail polish and glitter. So I'm going to be attaching my little wing charms with my bubblegum gel by Eno Couture. I know this is like a nail glue, like a gel egg system, but it honestly works really well for 3D charms. Look, I placed the charm already with the glue and it doesn't move anywhere. It sticks. And I'm going to set it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. And here are my little wings together. Aren't they freaking cute? Now, I know I've used these charms before on my channel for a unicorn set, but I felt like they were perfect for this set too look i love them oh and i also hella forgot to fill in the inside of my kitty ears i know that i said that i had something special planned for them and i do so i'm going to be filling them in with pink gel nail polish and while it's still wet i'm going to grab some pink glitter pour it over the wet gel nail polish and voila friend we have some pink glitter ears stick this nail in the uv lamp for 60 seconds to set the glitter and voila friend look how pretty she looks the nail is still looking a little plain to me so i'm going to grab this little bling wheel i got this little bling wheel from my your nail lab in a box i forgot for what month but it's a little bling wheel and i love it and i'm going to start adding bling throughout my little cloud nails So this is what my little kitty nail looks like all together. I love the bling. To set it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. And when it's out, this is what my whole entire set looks like all together. So as you can see, I blinged out my other nail as well. And I'm loving how everything just looks. So in my charm box, I found these really cool charms. And they are like these gold gems. So I'm first going to apply the little heart to my middle nail. And then I'm going to apply this AB one to my thumb. What do you think? Super cute. Let's glue them on. And now that I have my big charms glued down, on my nails i am going to create a freestyle bling but i also want to incorporate one of these cuticle bars that lisette sent over as well because i think they look super cute and they give us a vibe so i am first going to start off with these pink opal milky crystals and these ap gems but as i proceeded to bling out my nail i kind of ended up switching up the vibe a little bit and i removed all of the pink milky crystals and i kind of liked how it looked overall it looks super cute and i feel like i definitely captured essence in this bling
Okay, so now that I'm done blinging out my nail, before I set it in the UV lamp, I'm going to clean around my crystals. Because the glue that I use when it sets, it sets really shiny. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a little flat brush like this. I'm going to dip it into some isopropyl alcohol. And I'm going to clean around my gems to make sure that my nail looks matte and you don't see any shiny parts. And when it's out, I'm going to take some isopropyl alcohol and I'm going to clean my gems off. And voila, friend, look how shiny. What do you guys think? I love it. Don't forget to screenshot this nail if you want to recreate it later on. If I could do it, friend, you could definitely do it. It's not that hard. It's just bougie Tetris. You just got to fit all the little pieces in all the right parts. But what do you guys think? And also don't forget to leave a like if you love bling as well. I think it turned out super cute. Okay, so now let's work on my thumb. Here is the bling that I ended up coming up with. I tried to make it a little bit more different than the bling that I did for my middle nail. And I also added a little cuticle bar at the top. I think these are so stinking cute. I love them. And this is what the whole set looks like all together, friend. Now that I'm looking at it, I love it and it's perfect. However, you already know me. I'm always looking for that one last finishing touch. And I think this set needs... Dun, 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 dun. Drum roll, please. A piercing. And now I'm going to grab these little gold, like, little round rings. I got this from Amazon, and I will be linking them down in the description box below. And voila, friend. I have little tiny earrings for my nails. And that was my set, friend. What do you freaking think? I love it. I loved how it turned out. And I think I did a really good job on my nail art. I apologize for not being able to paint this face. I tried, girl. I really did try. But to be honest, I feel like I need a little bit more practice when it comes to trying to draw faces. I think what it is, is I panic a little bit when it comes to the symmetry. So I end up convincing myself that I can't do it. So I think I need to just practice a little bit more when it comes to doing nail art. But this is what the set looks like on my hands. I have applied this set with nail glue, regular nail glue. My favorite nail glue is the Nick One Nail Bond. And if you would like a tutorial on how I apply my press on nails, I will be linking it down in the description box as well i overall really enjoyed working with these hard gel paints they applied on beautifully and worked just like a regular gel nail polish would they even worked really well with clear gel nail polish top coat so i definitely recommend 10 out of 10 these are really beginner friendly and i also love that you could create no art with them so again, thank you so much to Lisette for sending over these amazing nail goodies. I honestly loved everything and I hope you guys did too. Don't forget to check her out on YouTube and on Instagram as well. I will also be linking her LGM Pro Store in my description box down below. So if you saw anything that you loved, make sure to head over to her shop and show her some love. I honestly can't wait to use the rest of the gel paints that she sent over. I can't wait to create more nail art, especially Halloween nail art. I mentioned before that spooky season is right around the corner and you already know i am a spooky mommy hot tamale so don't forget to let me know what kind of halloween looks or videos you would like to see me try next for this upcoming month of october last year i posted a little halloween vlog and i also posted a whole bunch of halloween looks as well for nails so let me know in the comment section down below what you would like to see me try next for this year another thing that i would like to mention uh, before i leave is i apologize for not posting as consistently this month i've honestly honestly been trying to make the most out of my birthday month and my plans have honestly been delaying my editing schedule so my bad friend i didn't mean to last weekend i went out for drinks with my friends i decorated my hotel room with a whole bunch of spooky like halloween decorations that i got from the dollar tree in the 99 cent store unfortunately the iced tea snuck up on me and it slowed me down for a couple of days iced teas are the devil friend they make you forget everything and they make you want to fight the bouncer <laughs> so thank you for watching till the very end my beautiful and gorgeous bougie friend don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i will see you next time i love you i love you i love you bye